Aliens, Colonial Marines takes place right after Aliens, the second movie in the uh, series. It's supposed to be the true sequel, almost completely ignoring Aliens 3, which isn't altogether a bad thing. Uh, you take control of the character Winter and must find out what's happening on this ship, and as you go through the campaign, you learn more and more about the Xenos, the plans behind a certain somebody, and a lot of cursing and let's stand with our comrades cheering type story. Well, you know, it's trying to be an Aliens again. <laughs> Um, well the gunplay feels very old school run and gun. You rely on mostly blasting away aliens with shotguns and pulse rifles. You also got the iconic motion tracker from the films giving that eerie feel sounding effect every time an alien gets closer. Is this the alien game that we've all been waiting for? Well let's find out. Alright, so the good always comes first because that's, well, that's just how I do it. So with that being said, the good is, well, here we, um, okay, I got a couple of things, I guess. Uh, the fact that at some moments, very few, but some, there's some great atmosphere. Certain key moments feel like an alien movie. <laughs> Shoot that thing! Shoot that thing! Also, the returning cast of the characters from the other films or the previous films are nice. And if you don't get too buggy or glitchy in the game, it can be a bit of fun with co-op or online for a little while. Now the bad. Okay. First off, I gotta mention that the script is weak. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen, but hardly worth the license of Alien or Aliens. On top of the weak script, you have what I like to call dated level design. Nothing is inspiring. In fact, the environment seems to like to repeat a lot. Corridors galore. Nothing is worth mentioning here. The other bad is the game feels dated, and that's not a good thing. While the running and shooting works, it doesn't feel tight or fun. Also, the graphics, while not the worst I've seen in the general look, definitely feel dated. Now, the ugly. <laughs> I have quite a few, so listen up. I'm going to be a little bit quick about it. One, the voice acting is atrocious. I mean downright shit. The animations are beyond horrible. When an alien attacks, I almost fucking laugh. Actually, no, I, I, I do laugh. The glitches going through walls and delay on certain moments in the game from set pieces are just so frequent and annoying that even diehard fans have to admit this is bullshit. 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1. Eventually, it will open the door. But... Huh. Huh, I wonder why this isn't working. Because I'm clicking the same three buttons. Wow, why did you be smart? Come on! The online should have been a highlight and instead comes off as an okay matchmaking system at best. Sloppy controls for the aliens and weak maps make the original online get very stale very fast. Hold up. Reloading. <laughs> we got a casual <laughs> <laughs> Ugly though is the fact the game is boring. It's a very boring game. You put the deadliest creatures in the whole universe in a video game and tons of them trying to hunt you down. And you expect not to be bored. However, a couple of shots and these mighty creatures fall or just blow up in this pathetic looking green smuck of shit. It's pathetic, easy, and just fucking boring. The only time you'll die, if it's a scripted event and you have to defend someone and they corner you, or a human enemy attacks because they're ridiculously fast at shooting and have like no recoil or anything when they're shooting, so they just fucking perfect aim and they don't seem to ever get damaged. So. I want to know why there's humans in my alien game in the first place. Anyway, the game is just filled with a lot of ugly, ugly things. And the verdict is finally here, and as you can tell, it's not very good. Aliens Colonial Marines is the hugest disappointment for me in a long time. I am a huge fan of the series. Aliens is my favorite movie of all time, and I'm not even joking or over-exaggerating. 
I can't express how badly I'm wanting this game to be as good as Alien vs Predator 2 for the PC and instead got a weak ass fucking game. It's short as hell campaign, it's buggy and okay online at best. I mean overall the game is just a gigantic glitchy mess not worth any gamer's real time. Die Hard Alien fans might find some fun with the co-op or online, but for anyone else or anybody who likes really fun games, this one gets a steal from a friend and then burn the motherfucking disc and watch him as he cries. Truly one of the most disappointing titles I've ever played in this entire generation.